financial gain involved, especially if these lessons involve contracts. Pisces TV, take one. Welcome back to Pisces TV with Montana B. This is your daily vibe, Pisces, for the collective. Uh, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising, wherever Pisces may fall in your chart. It's Pisces in your environment. Or if you're dealing with Pisces, right? As we get started, I welcome you all to check out the description box. If you're interested in any personal readings, private consultations, products or services, uh, take a look there. There's a link to the Etsy store, as well as to the Patreon membership uh, platform if you're interested in the extended to this video, where the clarifiers and pick a card will be located, okay? Also, in the community board is where I post a lot of the updates, coupon codes, and we kind of intertwine with each other. So if you're interested in meeting other Pisces, okay, check that out. We have the merchandise, so take a look at the store, as well as the join feature here if you're interested in membership. As we get started with your reading, I'd like to do an icebreaker, which you see I've shuffled out in front of you. We will do a Celtic spread and move from there. So welcome, welcome, welcome into your reading. I have to admit that with these cards, they were so different that I needed to take some time with them. And I did, of course, pull clarifiers just to get the overall gist of the situation. Now, I do feel that there is a difference. Now, if this is love, finances, or your beliefs, I feel that there is something that you have a hard time changing, may need to change, or something that can't change. Like, change is a thing, right? And with the lamb here, of course, you know, naturally drawn to something that may have to be um, sacrificed or given up. So I thought about your beliefs um, because the lamb just kind of like lays down, and, <laughs> you know, in, in tradition, in the spirit animal. It just talks about like, I don't want to say that. I'm trying to use a better analogy, like a martyr of some sort. Like you have a cause or a mission and it's like, I don't care what happens to me. I have a bigger mission. So like the grand scheme of things or something like that. The challenging aspect, we have the starfish. So I think about Aquarian energy and I also think about the star. So your hopes, your wishes, your dreams, as we discuss Pisces life, this is a water element, okay? So when I think about the water and the starfish, it's just like this beautiful energy, but also some sort of danger, right? Because the starfish, if it gets a hold to you, I think you, you might be a little bit uncomfortable. So the last card that came out, we have the black egg, which is a spirit card if you notice the little symbols up here so it talks about the truth or something like that a dark truth the past okay when i took clarifiers the reason why i feel it could be love for some of you is because the two of cups came out with the lamb and we have been discussing the uh, reciprocity or re receptivity the giving and taking the um how do you receive love? How do you give love kind of thing? And then I got the Ten of Cups with the starfish. So it talks about some level of completion in a sense with something, all right? So it's like the family matters, the lovers. Um, it also talks about past, present, and future. And some of you may be coming into realization of like karmic situation, past beliefs, dealing with that in the present and moving forward to see how adjustments may be made uh, to kind of help you in the future. And then we have this black egg here where I always find acceptance is best with that. And with the starfish, I just feel that someone could be a little different, maybe feeling different, and maybe also an energy of giving up too, right? Because we have this land down for the cause right and then we have the starfish and the black egg which talks about something unique something unknown something dark um that's not really popular right so it's not like tradition i didn't see the ten of pentacles i saw the ten of cups 
So we are going to get into the reading because that was very interesting. These are very interesting cards to have come out um, in your icebreaker. And let's see where it is going to take us. Okay, so I do hope all is well. All right. Did I do that on camera? I'm sorry. So as we get shuffled up, let's see what we have for the current energy. We have more stars. So we start out with the seven of pentacles, a time of reflection, investments, waiting, twiddling our thumbs, past efforts, something about the past, something that has been done, and you standing with that, reflecting. I also think about stars, the stars that align, right? And I love in this deck how they actually did that. They align the stars because otherwise, with a traditional card, you wouldn't understand what I was talking about because it shows a person um, standing by their work or something like that, kind of wondering why it's not going as fast as it should have or it's not growing like it was supposed to or what could I have done different. And that could be for some of you. Maybe there's some reflecting on what could have been done different. And for others of you, definitely talks about where the stars align. So I definitely love that. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups. More alignment, right? As you move forward on your path. And the challenge or obstacle in this alignment. And seeds, oh, look at the Father of Wands. So the father of wands is a father figure. And so the seeds and the father figure kind of talks about children for me. And stars also represent children. So children could be creations. The father of wands is a creative type of energy. And so just to make this very general, if you have tried multiple times at something, right, you this could be your creative energy and this could represent your creations your life your timeline whatever it is that you're reflecting on like what have i done some of you could even be parents you know what i'm saying um but i take it like i said more general it's just the creator and the creations how about that something about time and taking ownership and leadership okay now as we saw the five of swords where you didn't see it with the dark egg in the center of the reading we have the five of wands which is wand energy and also talks about a battle of some sort now usually when i see the five wands i do think about inner conflict okay so it could have been seeds implanted by a father figure someone in your environment could be genetic could be a creative project that you're working on, or you know, some of you, if you're dating an individual that you've been putting a lot of time or energy into, or if you like someone that you've been putting a lot of time and energy into, there could be some inner conflicts. Could also be some competition for you. So maybe that's why you're wondering, is this really what I wanna do, right? I feel like that's a question for some of you or will be. Now, here we have the Mother of Cups, which is a very generous energy. Also talks about the subconscious. So maybe that's what's bothering you. Something about your consciousness is sitting at this situation, reflecting and twiddling your thumb, and battling some type of conflict. Also, with the Mother of Cups, she's very forgiven to the Father of Wands energy, and so if there is anything in between them, it could be something else and not you battling yourself, okay, or inner conflict. There actually could be some, something else. And then here we have with the black egg, this clarified the black egg, which you saw. You didn't see it. It was off camera when I clarified the black egg. But crowning you, we have air energy. So your crown, your thoughts. For some of you, a strength. And then we have two fives here, okay? So notice that that talks about some type of change, a possible challenge. You know, the Mother of Cups is definitely one who I feel may have a hard time 
letting go of something, right? When I think about the four swords in this five of swords, and it's like that fifth one just really rams it in, there could be something or someone in your environment that causes a conflict and some type of trouble that you weren't asking for is what I feel. Now, if this is you spending too much time waiting, the Father of Wands is encouraging you to take action because the lesson could be in whatever you're suffering from, okay? Because the Five of Wands, I've also told you guys, is just this energy of every man for himself, kind of like some savage type energy, which is also something that the Father of Wands would be able to survive in, right? The Mother of Cups, maybe not so much. And that's why we have the Five of Swords here, I feel, which talks about like kicking somebody while they're down or maybe you feel like that. And the Father of Wands wouldn't see that. If there was like a kick or a jab while somebody was down, um, the Father of Wands would feel that I'm a coach. You know, I'm motivating you. I'm giving you tough love or whatever. And the Mother of Cups would probably see it differently. So it also talks about choosing your battles. Okay, so keep in mind, you could be either of these energies and dealing with either of these energies. And I do feel there would be a need to pick your battles or choose your battles wisely. Why? Someone's beating a dead horse with the uh, Ten of Swords. And it also talks about an ending, some completion. Um, somebody could be resisting or fighting something in their conscience. Like you have the answers. You know what's happened. For some of you guys, this could have been a fight where you feel deceived. You know what I'm saying? Also, we've been talking a lot about Taurus and the bull here, right? And then Venus with the lovey, love, love energy. Um, so that could be something in your astrology chart that has to do with your love life or finances for some of you and how you could have had some battles in that area. But I do feel with the Ten of Swords here, which is usually more of the Queen of Swords energy, crossing the Mother of Cups says a lot, okay, about her development or his development. Here we have Temperance. So Temperance is fire and water. <laughs> we have fire and water here where it talks about some sort of balance toward creativity as well as your nurturing and how you take care of something. So if this is a business, I don't care if it's a pet, if it's a dog, if it's a, if it's a relationship, that is a question here where balance is needed to cut a cord, to end a lesson for some of you guys or for others of you, since the earthworm heals itself, we could be talking about a healer or wanting to heal a situation, but also having trouble because you feel somewhat deceived and there's a need to kind of just like balance something. Now, those of you that are working on creative projects, reinventing yourself or something like that, the temperance card is the alchemist or it talks about alchemy and chemistry. Okay. So it's like using your consciousness or your subconscious mind to generate something. Now, on the flip side, I would hope that we are not manifesting or generating trouble for ourselves, okay, where this five of wands would be helpful for you to feel more competitive and fit the part and not feel so different or an outcast or something like that so that you can hold it together. Because the mother of cups um, having issues with her balance definitely talks about the emotions and the inner battles beating yourself up beating a dead horse and that is not a very good energy to be in which causes a little bit of conflict i feel mentally for you all or could lead to some disagreements with others okay so i don't want to trigger anybody but it does seem like the mother of cups like kind of in his or her feelings about something where someone else um, may have been just trying to offer advice or something like that and being super sensitive and not really receiving it, right? So in the environment, now we talk about your intuition with the Seven of Swords. Now the fox 
in some decks is a teacher. The fox can also be a trickster. So this coincides with that alchemy magician type energy. <laughs> and it's not funny. But um, the magician would definitely uh, run circles around the Mother of Cups, which I'm only laughing because the Five of Swords is there with the Ten of Swords. And so this is like ending something, cutting someone off, and um, then still arguing. So I don't understand that, right? It doesn't make sense to me, but someone else that is probably unstable um, will understand just exactly what that means. You know what I'm saying? Like, picking your battles is what we just talked about, where there's a, a disagreement, um, some discomfort, something isn't harmonious, right? You, It could be you're working on something at your desk, trying to create something, and just start ripping with paper throw it away. I don't know, having a conversation with a friend, whatever it is, okay? The team project at work, whatever it is this is suspicions and then this is like inner conflict for some of you if there's anything that you're working on i feel that there needs to be clarity within you right because you may be at the drawing board right and may be lacking some creative inspiration something you could do differently um, others of you could be doing it just fine and it's just like there's just a need to hang in there and be more competitive um, because you have this idea, maybe, <laughs> and I have talked to some of my clients about products, relationships, whatever it is, when you feel that you're an empath or it's your mission um, to do something, you could be taking losses in certain areas that are self-inflicted, right? Because you have this conscious, you're such a giver. And there needs to be definitely a balance in that water energy, in that giving, in the conscious, in the subconscious, where you're kind of like, you know, I don't want to say playing with fire, but maybe in the field, in the dating realm, or whatever the case may be, there's a need for you to know, right, this inner knowing, when to fight for something and when to not. So it's so general for all of you. And I do not want to always put the Mother of Wands, and I'm sorry, the, the Mother of Cups and the Father of Wands in this very inappropriate relationship um, because it, here's this energy of dominance where I'm using my charm and I can do whatever I want to do. And then here's this energy of forgiveness and I love you um, and it'll work or, you know, just forever and ever and ever dealing with this demon. And I'm not saying that the Father of Wands is a demon, it's just this inner conflict and maybe a distrust of something or something hidden, right? I think the Mother of Cups wants to get to her Two of Cups and look at that. I feel someone may want something different, a little bit different, all right? I say that because the Father of Wands, the Father of Pentacles, two different energies. And for two kings to, to show up, this could represent different people in your lives as well because they always say that the court cards represent people so this is water this is earth this is fire wherever those elements fall in your chart or in your environment i do feel the father of pentacles is a teacher is a guru does show a difference between the father of wands and the father of pentacles where i'm you know a little bit less egotistical maybe more ideal of a partner. It could also talk about with this chemistry here where there's a lack of chemistry, okay? If you just met somebody or you spent a lot of time with somebody, the chemistry could change, you know? And I like this energy because it talks about someone who's good for you. And I know with fire and water signs, that's hard because we want the woo and the passion um, and the attraction and the attention because the star did come out. But it's like this relationship may not be overly sexualized. It may not be super romantic. You know what I'm saying? But it is the ideal situation that I, I feel benefits you and your conscious. Okay. Now, others of you where there's this um, inability to accept 
I do see a missed opportunity. So just keep in mind, if you are chasing Cujo and Kojak, you know, I always say that, you could miss an opportunity um, with this struggle. Okay. I also feel for my creators, my um, business owners, or just any of you that are feeling you are isolated from the collective in a sense. So this could be an entrepreneur, right? Because they're separated from the working class per se. It's different. You don't have a lot of things that the corporate, the corporate employees would have, right? You're kind of doing it on your own, which is why there's this need to um, be competitive and all this kind of stuff. So this card says that ultimately you do become the top of your game. But if I were to look at these cards to offer you some bit of advice, I do see it in the time that you've spent with something, the seeds that are implanted. And so now I'm looking at the eight of pentacles here, um, even. And if I look at the five of wands with the father of wands, that's six wands. So it talks about recognition, reward, attention. See what I said about the mother of cups? And then here it's like dedication, um, time and investment. So whether it's a relationship or it talks about your creative projects, your life purpose, you still get to see it unfold where the Eight of Pentacles normally talks about work, creating something, self-mastery, um, being more assertive. Look at that. That's your outcome card. And then the Six of Wands talks about victory, awareness, reward, being put on a pedestal of some sort. And then if we look at all of this energy over here, it just talks about the inner conflict, the battle, beating the dead horse, um, something hidden. And then here with this temperance, this need to balance um, the information that you're receiving, because I think we are still in Mercury retrograde, and versus your intuition or your gut, you feel me? And so some of you, it's like, I know something, but I'm fighting it. Um, and we'll, we'll get down to the bottom of it in the clarifier because the Wheel of Fortune definitely says that there's some type of change. And I feel like a change for the better uh, with the Chariot card coming out. So we will see if this is where we leave off. Definitely appreciate you guys for sitting in with us. Until next time, namaste.